I'm Harmony Bench. I'm one of the co-conveners of audiences and online reception before and after COVID. I'm Yama Hushamova. I'm Hannah Kostrin. I'm Danielle Skon. Oh. <laughs> I think it was your first virtual performance, and I want to know how you feel about connecting with the audience. They say that they want to be there and jump and dance together. For being the first, it was good enough. It has impacted all of us in ways that I don't think that we could have expected before. You can choose to hit your head on the wall, or you can look for another way. All of a sudden, the entire world felt the fragility that the arts feel on a normal basis. Being able to, to bring people in on the video conferencing platform really enabled a lot of the master classes to happen. <laughs> I felt the energy, what happened in the world, in my body. I couldn't dance, I couldn't move. I found myself sitting in, in a sofa. I decided to create a piece on chair because the chair for me, it was symbolic. What happened in the world, the limitation, the, the corona, took your freedom, took your feet, your, your um, legs, your hands, your spirit, everything. Uh, COVID definitely affected the film in many ways. The movie is called Jet Lag, and it is about international travel. We ended up shooting Moscow for itself, for Berlin and for Detroit. I sort of decided that, you know what, it's fine. It's part of the new reality. <laughs> if, if it looks right, the audience is can be asked to suspend disbelief. As lockdown hit, on March 18th, 2020, my husband, who is also a dancer, and I took a gram class on our living room floor in Cyprus, which was streamed on Instagram uh, by the dancers of the Martha Graham Dance Company. This experience of the pandemic has reoriented us both towards the self and towards the connected self and the role that that individual plays, whether it's in interactive media or in, in relationship to the environment. One of the things that I've been interested to watch over the course of the pandemic really is how we have learned to be audiences for each other. I asked my students if they were willing and comfortable to turn on their cameras. They were up and moving and dancing, or they were trying to show their engagement. It is this line dance that turned into a dance challenge. One billion views on TikTok and 800 and 12 million dance creations came about as a result. The TikTok screen allows for what I have come to call the congregational global body, including dancers, singers, musicians, and audience members engaged in raising positive energy. This congregational body is facilitated by the social media screen. It was a research project dedicated to the examination of the state coverage of the Chernobyl disaster and now of the COVID pandemic. This COVID affected the situation of the world. One part of the population is not in the I found myself struggling with how to diversify our audiences more effectively. Pivoting online, obviously, we got some new folks. And I got some emails from people who had never been to the festival before to say, hey, uh, I saw this thing. Thanks for putting it up. I would have never come to it otherwise. Knowing that there are other people out there who would be interested to see the material that we're curating 
for audiences means that we can really think about how we're marketing it and who we're marketing it to. People have been looking for material. People have been looking for workshops. We have those. And so that's another way of bringing community in. We had to really shuffle around and find out what was the best way to connect with people. So we using Zoom, we scheduled two classes per week and those classes are free. People are, are anxious, people are depressed. So we offer this to the public to have a moment in the day to really get away from the harsh reality. Touching chip from the moment of Vela, 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 V